Hello, Middle Earth Strategy Battle Gamers. I'm here with a special unboxing uh, of a new release for uh, some Gondor. I think it's the newest release for Gondor in a while. And uh, without further ado, voila, Hirin and Ingold. And we're going to do a really in-depth um, unboxing of these guys, so I'll be back. I would like to give you guys as much uh, perspective as possible of the malls. So I'm here with the here and an ingle that come in this box right here. I already opened it so I don't have to struggle with that. Um, but um, these guys became available on the 23rd and I ordered them and they're here. Um, so these guys are available on Forge World. Uh, here is the Merry Christmas card that they sent. They sent this with my package. I thought it was kind of nice. <clears throat> Alright, so open these guys up. And let's do an in-depth uh, preview, shall we? Excuse me for my camera work. I'm trying to get these guys out one-handed. It's kind of kind of tricky. And you can see some of my projects I've been working on. This is my painting uh, station. I'm gonna get all the sprues out and organize and we're gonna go through all of them. Alright guys, so here is the um, the front where you see what you see in the front of the box. And then behind that is um, some uh, instructions. It gives you uh, um, some labels of where everything is and what everything is in the sprues. Which uh, I accidentally ripped the top part but it's still mostly legible. Um, so first off, let's go with Hurin. Hurin the Tall. He is a big uh, model. Uh, this is Huron's body. We'll compare him with... Uh, uh, let me see. I have Oscillate Veteran floating around here somewhere. There he is. So that's Huron's body. And just Huron's body is almost the same size as that um, Oscillate Veteran, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> so that's Huron's. Here's his body. And the way I look at here, he's, he looks just like a special fountain guard. Let's see if I can get... There we go, look at that. Look at that detail. Excellent. Look at the pattering on his, uh, I guess the border of his tunic. So that's his dismount body. And when you're um, putting all this together, you're going to want to wash all this off. Here's the cape. Some of these um, came off the sprue. Or they came... I, I think it's actually uh, probably um, Ingle's cape. <clears throat> I'll have to go back and look at the instructions. Yeah, it is Ingle's cape. Um, these are here. One of these is Ingle's sword. One of those is Huron, that's Huron's mounted sword. The detail on these is great. Yeah, I get, I'm going to try to get some good shots on all these so you guys can kind of see. So, if you guys are familiar with the old Lord of the Ring models, sometimes the swords just look a little bit generic. Here's, uh, I think these are Ingold's arms. One of them is his shield arm, one of them is his sword arm. Here is Huron's head for the uh, mounted version. Uh, it's a little bit hard to hold. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll hold the one with the sprue. And this is his sword for the dismount. Here 
here's here and, and um, Ingold's head and I'll, I'll when I get them together I'll do an after shot the detail the detail on these guys in the swan guard is actually my first dealings with Forge World <clears throat> here's Ingold's shield Uh, Ingold is a very interesting profile. With shield wall, he could be defense eight. And uh, here's a. Uh, I think I like Huron. I think I just like them all too. Uh, here's the mounted version for Huron. So we've gone over all that. Here's the leg for the horse. Here is some some of the mounted components for the horse. Here is Huron's mounted body. I think I showed that already. These are the arms for Huron's foot version. He's like holding his sword. Here's another component for mounted Huron and then the leg. Some of the, like I said, some of these when I opened the sprue, some of them were had broken off the uh, uh, sprues. Here's some loose pieces of uh, Huron mounted. Huron mounted seems to be a majority of the uh, pieces. So all these are ingold and it comes with Here's uh, another part of Huron. I just flew off the base. Tail for the horse. Here's the mounted base. It comes with a mounted base and then two regular bases. So, Alright guys, I'm going to go wash these guys off and glue them. And I'll show you guys what they look like when they're assembled. Um, but this is the, how they come. They come in the Forge World packaging. And come in the Forge World sprues um, with the detail, uh, the previews from the uh, the previews that we had. They both looked really detailed, and uh, I think I'm gonna have a blast painting them. You know, I painted Sam's Dane for him, and the Forge World um, stuff actually pretty much paints itself. But uh, anyway, uh, I'll be back, guys, with an assembled Huron and Ingold. Alright guys, so that process probably took me about 30 minutes. That includes scrubbing them and, 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 and gluing them. I would say that the most difficult model was to glue was easily uh, probably here and mounted the rest of the guys. The two foot versions did not take that much that long. Um, one word of warning, uh, be careful of Huron's, uh, all three of the model swords. Uh, they're all kind of brittle so when you're scrubbing them uh, just be careful. Um, because Huron mounted came in several pieces, like he was on a spurs, I went ahead and just wiped him off and then glued him together. Um, but here is the finished product. Um, in terms of putting them together, they pretty much fell, uh, fell, fell together. To be honest, I mean everything fit perfectly. Um, the seams aren't very noticeable. And uh, it was surprisingly easy to put together. I think, I think having the model put together puts in perspective the detail that's on him compared to some of the older models in the uh, range. Easily probably the most um, detailed Gondor model to date. Uh, I didn't glue... Huron or Ingold on foot uh, on their bases. I do plan on putting all these on scenic bases. So here's the foot version. Um, the sword is best. I need to cut that little piece of flesh off. I didn't. I missed that. But as best I could tell, I got that sword on there the way it's supposed to be. It came a little bit bent. Didn't realize that either. 
when I was gluing them together. I try to always inspect my uh, resin pieces just to make sure that they all uh, look good. But uh, I do like, I think uh, out of the three models, I like the Heron mounted the, the boat the best. And this one being a really good dismount for him. And he is massive, really tall. And lastly, I'll show you guys Ingold. And these models fit really well together. So. Alright guys. Well, be expecting these three models in a painting update video soon. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment below. And uh, enjoy the new models coming out of the uh, beautiful Middle Earth range.